Hey everybody, maybe you've heard, Champions Online will be going free to play in early 2011. Recently, we entered closed beta, and the response we've gotten so far has been awesome. Most everyone knows about our big content updates such as Demon Flame, Blood Moon, and Revelation. But it's easy to overlook the changes we've made to improve the game's systems in the last year. So we wanted to take some time to talk about those changes and show off some of what Free to Play has to offer. Looking back, one of the big changes we made was to add powerhouse battle rooms. These rooms are designed to allow any player to try out their power choices before committing to them. If you're trying to decide whether force powers or electric powers are a better fit for your champion, this is the place to try them out. There are a lot of abilities to choose from in champions, and the battle rooms are a great help. We've also given our pet system a big overhaul. There are more pet options, stronger pet powers, and a wider range of tactical choices for controlling your pets. We now provide more options for what your pet looks like and give you individual control over each one. They can now follow you just about anywhere, including in the air. And with every major update, we added more parts to the costume creator. We've also added some special costume drops for completing missions and perks in the game. Any costume part you earn is unlocked for all the champions you create. There are now over 3,400 costume pieces available to players, which can be combined and colored in millions of unique ways. After launch, we also received a lot of feedback about our melee power frameworks, like might or martial arts. Some players felt that these builds were at a disadvantage when compared to other heroes with more ranged powers. When we analyzed real combat, we found that the players were absolutely right, so we improved them. We shortened or removed charges and cooldown times, increased the melee range, and increased melee attack damage. Now melee players can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with their ranged cohorts, dishing out major damage right alongside them. For players that have mastered champions online, or those who found things a bit too difficult, we introduced the difficulty slider. If you're on a team, the team leader decides what difficulty setting the team is playing in. Increasing difficulty changes the strength and durability of enemies, making the instance much more challenging. In addition, enemies may drop better gear. For free-to-play, we have some really big changes on the way. At the top of that list is definitely the addition of archetypes. Archetypes are basically an easy way to create a fun, powerful, and balanced hero. You choose your archetype based on what role and theme you want your hero to have. It specifies which powers you'll receive when you level up and which super stats you'll have. You'll still choose your travel powers, talents, and advantages, but everything is much more streamlined than a custom framework. Subscribers can either play one of the predefined archetypes or build a custom archetype using Champion's hugely customizable power system. We've also revisited a lot of early game content. First, the tutorial has been updated to be more streamlined and more informative. New players will have a much easier time learning the basics of champions. Also, once you've played through the tutorial, you now have the option to skip it when you create a new champion. After arriving at the Renaissance Center, your hero can now stay in Millennium City to clean up the gangs in Westside. We've reworked the Westside area and its story. There are new missions and boss fights, as well as an overarching plot for the whole neighborhood. Really, we have so many other things to talk about. We haven't even touched on the changes to Desert Crisis, new powers, missions, storylines. We got a lot going on. Hopefully you'll come check us out early 2011 when Champions Online goes free to play.